I'm John Moeller, former White House chef to three first families and author of Dining at the White House. We're here at the RLPS Architects Bistro here in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and we're going to teach you how to make pan-roasted rabbit. This is a whole rabbit here. We're going to be breaking it down, and then we're going to be pan-searing it. We're going to first season it with salt and pepper. We're going to have a mirepoix. A mirepoix vegetable is an equal amount of carrot, celery, and onions. I have them diced up here already. We're going to have some fresh thyme to add for aromatics. We're going to deglaze the pan with some white wine, and then add some chicken stock, and then we're going to finish it in the oven. This is the whole rabbit here. Back here are the legs. This is the saddle, part of the loins. Up here is the rib area, and then up here is the forequarter. We're going to go right below here until we get down to the joint. When we get down to here, we're going to just cut through the joint, and we've removed leg number one. On the belly, we're going to take off that excess flap of meat. It's actually what bacon's made out of, this part of the uh, pig here. We're going to go up to the saddle portion. Here, where the hip is, we're going to make a cut right behind here and go all the way around. We're going to put the uh, rabbit in this position here. I'm going to take my chef's knife and we're going to pop that joint and then cut through. Now we're making our way up to the rib area. These are all the rib bones coming down through here. I'm going to feel for the last rib bone and cut between the rib and the saddle. I'm cutting the meat all the way to the bone. I'm going to take my knife, I'm going to hold it here at the joint and pop it. This is the saddle, this is the loin, this is like what the New York strip steaks are cut out of. Underneath here is the tenderloins. So if you cut straight through here, it'd be as similar as a uh, porterhouse steak. So we're going to trim off the excess fat. There's our saddle. Now we have the forequarter. Forequarter is pretty easy to uh, take off. This is the shoulder right through here, and there's no real joint there. You can just cut right underneath it, and it comes off in one piece. So that's the one four. Here is the other side. Now, this is the rib area. Now we're just going to remove this top area here, which is right around where the neck is. And there again, too, we're going to pop it and cut that off. What we got left to do is just kind of cut through some of these uh, bones here. So there's our rib area, the loin, legs, and, and the forequarter. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to season it with salt and pepper, and then we're going to pan sear. We're going to get nice and brown. I'm going to use uh, an oil blend of grapeseed oil and canola oil to do that. I like using sea salt. You can use sea salt or kosher salt to do this. I season it on both sides with both uh, uh, sea salt and black pepper. So now we're going to take our pan. We're going to add in you know, a liberal amount of oil. We're going to start putting in the larger pieces first. And you want it decent hot. Make sure that the pan is not too cool. If it's too cool, then you're not going to get the nice browning effect. If there's not enough oil in the pan, it's more likely you're going to burn the meat. We can always get the excess oil out of it later on, but it should have a liberal amount of it in there to do the browning. All right, so once we get a nice brown on one side, then we're going to flip them over, brown on the other. Now our rabbit has been browning for a couple of minutes here. It's got nice colorization. Now we're going to start to put in our mirepoix. I got some carrot, celery, onions that I got diced up already. Add a little bit of that in there. Let's stir that around. We, we need those vegetables to get down on the pan there and cook in some of those oils that are down there. I have some uh, chopped garlic. We're going to add a little bit of that to it. Got some fresh thyme. Love working fresh thyme. Right, so we saute those up a little bit. Now we're going to deglaze the pan. I'm going to take a dry white wine. Uh, what I'm using is a Chardonnay. Now you kind of hear the, you hear the pan cool down. I'm going to turn the temperature on high and we're going to boil this for a moment. And as the wine boils, all the alcohol is going to evaporate and you're just going to have the pure flavor. And now we're going to add the chicken stock to it. I like using chicken stock when I'm braising meats. Chicken can bring out the flavor of just about anything here. As this comes up to a boil here, and then we bring it back to a simmer, then we're going to cover it and put it inside the uh, oven for about eh, maybe 45 minutes. During that cooking process, we will remove the loins here, because that takes less time to cook than it does 
the shoulder. The shoulder needs to braise out a little bit longer to become tender. I love working with uh, rabbit. It's, it's a nice lean meat. I first started working with it when I lived in France. I worked and lived there for about two and a half years. And they, uh, they enjoy working with rabbit a lot over there. I'm going to add another piece of thyme in there. I'm going to cover it with aluminum foil. And then we're going to take it and put it inside the oven. We're going to bake it off at 275 degrees for about half an hour or so. And then we're going to check it again. We've taken our rabbit out of the oven and let it set for a couple of minutes here. We put back the, uh, the loin and the legs in with the, uh, with the shoulder. Let's take them out of the jus. Rabbit stock makes one of my favorite stocks. It has a very, 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 very clean taste. Okay, so we're going to take the saddle and there's two pieces of meat and there's a bone going right down to the middle. We're going to separate that and take the, uh, the meat off the bone. So that, uh, this is the loin. That's, that's just the meat now off the loin. Underneath there is um, a little bit of tenderloin. You can put the whole leg on the plate like this. All right. We can take the loin and we can cut the loin into a couple of smaller pieces. And so, okay, here is the shoulder. And we're going to just cut right through the joint. Through it. So this is the shoulder. Meanwhile, in here, we can take some of the herbs out here now. I see, let's turn this down now. It's up to a boil. And you can see the grease that comes up to the top. In cooking, we say skim, skim, and skim some more. You, every time you see grease coming up to the top of the pot there, you want to be able to discard that. Don't want to boil it too long with the grease on there either. You want to just simmer it because the grease can actually get emulsified into the liquid if it's boiled too long. Let's do a taste. Very flavorful. I'm going to add just a little bit of salt and pepper. All right, so we have that nice jus with the carrots, celery, and onions. You could strain it off, but it actually adds a little bit of uh, rustic feel to it. And so we're just going to just cover it right over top. You could thicken it up, but just having natural jus is great by itself also. I'm John Moeller, former White House chef, the Three First Families, and author of Dining at the White House. And that was how to make pan-roasted rabbit. Always remember, cook well and eat well.